All right, so I've got the VXT mounted on the boiler. Um, I've got it under test right now. The uh, yeah, that glare is pretty strong. Yeah, it's working. It's pretty loud, so I'm gonna unplug it. It's a 120 volt EXT. And we need a cord. There's the jumper to go from the uh, hot to feed. Um, this is the manual bypass. The feed here, since I don't have it energized, it won't work. I've got it slightly canted so that the uh, display is shows up at eye level. And some of the more astute may realize that uh, I've got this valve reversed from the way it comes out of the box. Um, I repositioned the uh, solenoid um, by driving out the uh, spacers and changing the orientation and flipping it over. I have to do a little trim in the back with the uh, screws uh, to add the space. And that allowed uh, for, uh, I think, a slightly uh, better install. I could have made it work without reversing the valve. Uh, it seemed to work better for me doing that. Um, so the path that follows is uh, existing shutoff valve, backflow preventer, which is going to need a drip. Ties onto the new piping. That comes over here. There's a brace um, and a split ring. See, that's braced very uh, strongly. Now, let me uh, give, give you a word about these braces here. Um, these are, these split rings are Caddy, uh, made by Caddy. Um, they come in iron pipe size and copper tube size. Well, this is a copper tube size here. And if you strip the rubber off, like I've done here, they tighten up really nicely on the iron pipe. And this being steam hot, you don't want to have that rubber. That's not going to last very long. And it makes for a very rigid uh, construction. Uh, the nice thing about the two and a half and, and higher size is that it actually comes out with uh, three eighths um, all thread. The ones you get usually that are cast as half inch thread in the two and a half inch um, split ring size. And it makes for a, you have to get a, an adapter and cut little pieces of half inch, uh, thread, whereas, uh, three eighths inch size is bog standard and, um, easy to, uh, deal with. So, uh, once it goes through here, uh, I feed it back into the equalizer line, the bottom of the equalizer line. Uh, so I transition from the copper through brass uh, to reduce the uh, corrosion. Now, uh, it's going to corrode over time. But the idea is that eventually, uh, if, um, if you only need so much fresh water, it's going to be fine. If uh, this takes on a lot of fresh water, almost anything is going to corrode. But as long as you transition uh, from there, either using bra uh, brass or stainless steel, that uh, that should last many years. Um, and so that's tied in there. Now, uh, moving on to the pressure troll uh, assembly, uh, as we discussed Rather than having this loop come out like so, we have a um, another half inch uh, brass nipple, brass T, stainless steel bushing, a plug for uh, clean out, 
uh, about a year, a year of operation, you want to remove this plug and clean out the, the dirt just like you want to do here. Um, this is a brass male tee in quarter inch. Um, very handy for mounting the um, otherwise useless 30-pound uh, gauge. Uh, you remove the 30-pound gauge, blow in here, and you can check whether this is clear or not. As we discussed earlier, um, this is now gone from, I've, it comes out of the package at nine pounds. So uh, we scroll it down to the lowest possible. Uh, you wanna make sure your differential is set at one. And then uh, you do a quick field test. So you push up a little bit, you should only need just fingertip pressure and then when you release it it should return that's the important thing it's got to start back up so all in all i think this is turning out uh pretty well so far i've still got uh, a fair amount to do but uh i think uh that's looking pretty good And, uh, oh, one other thing. This is, uh, my, uh, Hydro Level VXT valve, uh, safety, uh, first aid kit. Got your, uh, internal diaphragm spring and plunger kit. Extra screws washers, uh, back uh, O-rings, brackets, caps, extra switches, um, extra springs, uh, adapters, solenoid valves of various varieties, an extra valve, a uh, cover if you want remote operation, and uh, um, specialty tools for working on this bad boy. So. I think all in all, this should uh, get me out of most of the trouble I'm ever have to deal with these valves. And it comes in a nice handy package. Alrighty. Stay tuned for further developments.